Hey guys, this is Monkey from Rock Paper Copy and in this video I am reviewing another website and you can find us on www.rockpapercopy.com So the website I am reviewing today is Corset Now. I'm on the homepage. The first impression is that you are selling adult related um, adult related lingerie because this is the first image I noticed. Obviously it is um, more specified um, speci specified adult um, adult clothing element and um, but your top menu is a little bit confusing because the first thing I see is home decor then I see t-shirt collection and I see all products so it it already tells me that it is a little bit all over the place. Then I see wedding, then gothic, then fashion. What about this? This is all part of fashion as well. Fitness, lingerie, costumes for men, leather, and toys. And this, this, this looks like seems to me like a, a merry-go-round. Just uh, everything, bit of everything for everybody. Um, you also have some kind of items for men as well which I'm not sure if um, if the same target customer will buy this item and this item. Then you've got costumes and lower body collection. Lower body collection? I'm not sure if this is the right keyword or this is the keyword that your customers might be using. Plus size corset lingerie I see these items like three for the third time on your homepage it would be great to to have more structured uh, content and obviously uh, pay attention to what is on your homepage so you don't repeat the same item over and over again uh, your footer hasn't got any background color which which looks a little bit bland it would be great to add for example this color to add it in in some kind of stronger shade uh, i'm going to check home decor so collection page okay this looks like it absolutely doesn't belong to your home page to your page because your website is called corset now and you're selling um, some random home decor. Um, okay, even the um, the product titles aren't as your friend. For example, wall clock is is such a general name that it would be um, very very difficult for you to um, to get anywhere near the top on the search engine page. So make sure to write your titles more. You know add more details to your uh, product titles, be more specific and obviously um, use your keywords as well. You can write something like um, modern round wall clock with uh, white face or modern happy girl round wall clock, something like that. It definitely will be more specific and it will be much easier for you to rank in Google. Okay, similar products. So it's quite nicely optimized because you're showing related products from the same collection. So that's great. It's great for upselling and cross-selling. Um, again, I see the same item over and over again. Fashion. It should be under lingerie, not on fashion. Um, there's no point to put a lingerie in fashion and then again probably in lingerie and then again in costumes. Um, I think I just, I feel like I see um, the same items in your store and basically it doesn't, it doesn't feel like you're targeting the same audience because just a few seconds ago I saw um, Happy Girl wall clock and now I see some kind of gothic costumes. I'm not saying that the customer might not, might not be interested in both items but in order for your website to convert you need to um, you need to specialize in one niche so if you're selling lingerie it will be much more profitable for you um, to focus just on selling lingerie and then expand your stock then just trying to target women of with different 
with uh, different kinds of interest and different um, kinds of um, fashion um, um, fashion likes and dislikes. I hope I'm making myself clear. Okay, all products. Yeah, definitely your um, yeah, your and also sex toys. It's just your website is is just too confusing. It's just too confusing to um to pick what what is your niche. I think it doesn't really doesn't really strike me as as a website I would like to make a purchase because it seems like it's been put together in ten minutes and um, you don't even have about us page or shipping page with your delivery rates. You haven't got returns page. Um, so that definitely needs to be added as well. We've got all the social media being opened in new tabs, which is great. Okay, you've got contact email address here. Um, it would be great to um, to hyperlink this email address so it is activated. Okay, it would be great to blog regularly as well. Blog is um, is quite a strong SEO um, SEO uh, tool that you can use to rank your website better in Google. Your SEO score is fifty four out of a hundred. The meta title and meta description are very vague. As you can see, they they don't um, they don't in, um, include any specific information as to what you are offering. It's um, it's just very general generic and wouldn't wouldn't really um, wouldn't really stand out on Google um, and wouldn't really engage with um, with the viewer. Um, if they are searching for um, anything specific. Okay, H2, you're using H2 and H3 tags. Uh, content analysis. Um, if you want to focus on corset, for example, on corset keyword, make sure to use it in the key um, in the key areas on your website, add more content, add more written content, and obviously optimize it towards um, the corset keyword uh, in order to improve your uh, your ranking for for that word. So I hope you found this video critique useful. It was brought to you by Rock Paper Copy, and you can order a video review of your own store by heading to www.rockpapercopy.com and clicking on critiques. Thank you so much. Bye.